matter and its properties. Hi friends, today the teacher taught us about matter. Everything around us, living or non-living, is also made of matter. Matter can be in solid, liquid or gaseous state. Let me tell you about the different states which the teacher told us. Matter exists in solid, liquid or gaseous states which show different properties. A solid is that form of matter which has a definite shape and a definite volume. For example, pencil, desk, etc. A liquid is that form of matter which has a definite volume but does not have a definite shape. For example, water, oil, etc. A gas is that form of matter which neither has a definite shape nor a definite volume. For example, air, smoke, etc. Did you know? Most of the metals are solid except for mercury which is in liquid state. Now let me tell you about the properties. Visibility We can touch and see solids and liquids. However, gases cannot be seen or touched. We can just feel the presence of gases. Shape Solids have a definite shape and do not change by themselves. On the other hand, liquids and gases do not have any definite shape and they take the shape of their container. Space All the solids, liquids and gases occupy some space and have a mass. The amount of space occupied by everything is called its volume. Thus, all those materials which occupy a definite space and have a specific mass are called matter. Conduction of heat is the transfer of heat from one end of the body to another. Some solids, like metals, act as good conductors of heat while non-metals are bad conductors of heat. Thus, aluminium, iron and copper are good conductors, but wood, paper, cloth, sulphur are bad conductors. Some liquids like mercury are good conductors of heat, but many other liquids are poor conductors of heat. All gases are bad conductors of heat. Those substances through which an electric current can pass are known as conductors of electricity and those substances through which an electric current cannot pass are known as insulators. Switches are made up of plastic, bakelite or ceramics as they are insulators. Some solids like metals and graphite are good conductors of electricity, while others like glass, cloth, etc. are not. Similarly, some liquids conduct electricity and some don't. Oil, petrol, diesel are bad conductors, but salty water, Mercury, acids, bases are good conductors. Pure water is a bad conductor of electricity. Air is a bad conductor of electricity. Objects through which we can clearly see 
are called as transparent objects and through which we cannot see are called as opaque objects. But there are some objects like butter paper, frosted glass, etc., through which we can see partially. They are known as translucent objects. Intermixing of molecules of different substances with one another due to their own motion is called as diffusion. Gases exhibit the property of diffusion. For example, we can smell an agarbatti or a perfume from a distance. So, friends, enjoyed the discussion? But now I must hurry towards home as I'm feeling very hungry. Everything around us, living or non living, is made of matter. Matter can be in solid, liquid, or gaseous state. A solid has a definite shape and a definite volume. A liquid has a definite volume but does not have a definite shape. A gas neither has a definite shape nor a definite volume. We can touch and see solids and liquids. However, gases cannot be seen or touched. All the solids, liquids and gases occupy some space which is called its volume. All those materials which occupy a definite space and have a specific mass are called matter. Conduction of heat is the transfer of heat from one end of a body to another. Some solids and liquids are good conductors of heat, but all gases are bad conductors. Conductors of electricity are those substances through which an electric current can pass. Insulators are those substances through which an electric current cannot pass. Some solids and liquids are conductors of electricity, but air is a non-conductor of electricity. Intermixing of molecules of different substances with one another due to their own motion is called as diffusion. Objects through which we can clearly see are called as transparent objects and through which we cannot see at all are called opaque objects. Objects through which we can see partially are known as translucent objects. <laughs>